Embroglu, it is a sort of like it is a kind of media to be saying in layman language, but it is, it is not exactly a media that is used in patients when we are planning for embryo transfer. So basically before the embryo transfer, we can put this embryo glue in your dishes in which the embryos are kept. Whether this is a frozen embryo transfer cycle or a fresh embryo transfer cycle, in both cases embryo glue is used. So few hours before the transfer, the embryo glue is kept in the dishes and subsequently the same embryos are loaded in, for, in the ET catheter to be transferred inside the uterine cavity of the patient, of the mother, of the would-be mother. This embryo can, glue can be used in all the patients of IVF irrespective of what is the cause of their infertility because as it is everybody must be aware that IVF is not 100%. So to be true that embryo glue can be used in surrogates also because if you are transferring in a surrogate also it is also not 100%. So just to improve the implantation rate we can use it in all the IVF patients and Yes, it does come at an additional cost and we give a choice to the patient. If they want to get the embryo glue use, they can use it at an additional cost. But the cost that is there is a very nominal charge. It is not a big huge cost in which the embryo glue comes. Usually, we prefer using it for all our implantation failure patients and routine patients can also get it them, them used on them. Plus, embryo glue doesn't have any side effects on the baby. It is not that if it is we are putting it in the embryo, it is having any problem with the embryo so that later on the anomaly can happen because of the embryo glue. So, there is no such problem. So, embryo glue is a good way and there are studies in which they show that after using embryo glue, the implantation rate has definitely increased and it can be given as an option to patients who are undergoing IVF cycles. We care about you.